Put your arms around mama for me. <laughs> yeah. So, this is my so grandmother and grandfather. <laughs> oh, we were, we were children. I checked for them. Huh? I checked for them. Oh, uh, the Irish. Yeah. That's it. Do you know what town it was? What town? Yeah, that one county. Oh, okay. How many years is that now? Oh, I don't know. Sixty-five years. Have been sixty-five years? Congratulations. This is my grandmother and my grandfather back in 1990. They were in their 90s. Um, and this is just something like uh, my grandfather was a Baptist preacher, and then from his children, they all were Baptist preacher, and my mother was a holiness. And I'm showing this because this is in Sylvania, uh, Georgia. And Imam and I, on a light note, we talked about this because Imam Muhammad, uh, well, my grandfather said they knew of Elijah because he was from Georgia. And, you know, the army Elijah Muhammad was born in Sandersville, Georgia. And, um, and so um, in, in doing this, we, we, we just talked briefly because he said in his family that he came from a long line of preachers as well. And, uh, and so we wound up talking about that a little bit, too, among, among a few other things. So just lightly just sharing this, and, and I thank Allah I was always one to, uh, to, to video and try to document uh, uh, my history as we're even doing now. That's my grandmother. So yeah, my, my even my religious conviction. My mother was very religious. Okay. Um, we get this from. Yeah, so he was a Baptist preacher. So this is the church here, right? <laughs> and yeah, my grandmother says church. only one safe place, and that's in the Lord. Yeah, I'll take you to <laughs> Yeah, you you good for that camera, Papa? Uh, yeah, you good for that camera? You take good pictures, you know? Who my grandfather? Yeah. He has several churches. Alan Thomas from Sylvania, Georgia. able to preserve this um, but again uh, uh, my family comes from a long line of uh, preachers you know very religious people and like I say the mom and I spoke about that together preachers from Georgia itself and my grandfather said he was he was very much aware of the Army Elijah Muhammad uh, uh, back back in the day itself so it was just something we discussed again I'm just sharing that with you um, 
again, as I come across these things here, interesting, but I think a lot more than anything, I was able to record the history of my grandparents um, years ago, and they, they've been passed. Our history is so, so important that we record our history. Uh, my parents, my great, my grandfather's a Baptist preacher from Sylvania, Georgia, and his children were also Baptist preachers as well, and my mother, she was a holiness, and she's since passed. So my parents, my great, my grandfather's a Baptist preacher from Sylvania, Georgia, and his children were also Baptist preachers as well, and my mother, he was a holiness and she says past. So that's today. Uh, that is going to come and share uh, his thoughts. Yvonne and Stanford Hill, Amen, will come now and share with us. I greet you all in peace, which we say is Assalamu alaikum. My peace, I leave with you. I'd like to say that I'm indeed honored and grateful to be here. Uh, my parents, my great, my grandfather is a Baptist preacher from Sylvania, Georgia, and his children were also Baptist preachers as well. And my mother, he was a holiness, and she since passed. So it doesn't matter what you must say. My grandfather is a Baptist preacher from Sylvania, Georgia, and his children were also Baptist preachers as well. And my mother, he was a holiness, and she since passed. So it doesn't matter what you must or what you think you heart is a stone. When you hear this gospel and you hear this kind of music, it's going to affect you one way or another. <laughs> So, I just want to make a few comments and say, as, as always, I would like to thank Almighty God, the creator, the designer, the master architect of the universe, the most gracious, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, the all wise creator of all things, who did not, who did not make a mistake in creating this beautiful human family to look like Joseph's code of many beautiful couples. And as always, and especially now, in this political atmosphere that is constantly being polluted with the toxins of race baby and divisiveness from the highest office in the land, I want to make it absolutely clear that I, as well as the Muslim community in general, without hesitation or reservation, condemn all forms of terrorism, hatred, bigotry, racism, anti-Semitism, injustice of all kinds. The mosque that I run is Master Ibrahim. And I named it that way because it serves as a bridge for the three Abrahamic faiths. And we are taught in the Quran that Abraham went against the top leaders and destroyed their idols, and as a result, he was put in the fire of anger. But God said, Oh, fire, be cool and peaceful for Abraham. Now I connect that with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And because they stood up against Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar. 
As we know, also building bridges with Muslim Christians and others that have published this book, and Imam Muhammad uh, advertised it and sold this book here um, uh, as well. Thank Allah for Imam Muhammad and his direction and commentary and enlightenment. And we pray that Allah will grant him the highest level of Jannah. And I personally appreciate the relationship that we had. And I'm sharing this, not for nobody to look at me, but inshallah, hopefully it'll help in some way. <laughs>
Bible. And he quotes the Bible over the series, a series, a long series of 40 some years of his leadership. He quotes the Bible more so than the Quran. More so than the Quran. Always, always, always. 
Jesus in the kingdom. Amen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.